Hello class A, this is teacher Sarah again. Did everyone have a great week? I hope you did. Before we begin our lesson today, what should we do? What do we always do? That's right, we're gonna pray. Show me how to pray. That's right, you bow your heads, fold your hands and close your eyes and repeat after me. Dear God, we thank you for today that we can watch the Bible lesson so that we can learn about the Bible. We praise you because you are a powerful God and teach us how powerful you are. Help us to always obey you before a man. We thank you for all that you have given and continue to give us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys, let's review last week's memory verse. It was a super long one, but if you did it, three pennies. This week, we don't have a memory verse, so you get another chance to try to memorize it. And if you do it, then I'll give you three pennies. So let's review last week's memory verse, okay? You can find it on the back of your coloring page, right there. So repeat after me. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Hebrews 13.5 so try again this weekend. If you can do it, I'll give you three pennies in your jar, okay? Okay, guys, let's do a quick review of last week's lesson. So does anyone remember his name? His name was Ananias, and he had a wife named Sapphira. And remember, they sold all the land and got all this money. And they were supposed to give all their money to Peter so that he can give it to the poor people. But Ananias and Sapphira had decided to keep some of the money and lie about it. But who did they really lie to? They lied to God. And we shouldn't lie to God. God knows everything. You see, man can't love money and trust God at the same time. And because God is holy and righteous, he punishes sin. Remember what happened to them? They ended up dying, right? Because God judges sin, we should fear him. And we should love him also. Can anyone tell me what are these things? And what do we use them for? When someone is sick, we give them medicine and sometimes he gets better. But today's story is about some men who help sick people get better, but they weren't doctors and they didn't use medicine or band-aids to help them get better. So at this time, the apostles were performing many miracles and signs and wonders and they all met a place called Solomon's Portico. And they were preaching about Jesus and healing people and more and more people started coming, men and women. And they would even bring sick people on cots so that they could lay them on the streets, even hoping that Peter's shadow would fall on them. And they would also bring people from the neighboring cities around Jerusalem. And they were bringing more people who were sick or had unclean spirits and they were being healed. And how were they healing all these people? Was it with the medicine or band-aids? No, 
it was from God. God gave them power to do all these miracles and healing. But the high priest, they were standing by and listening. And they saw what they were doing. And they were filled with jealousy. So they laid their hands on the apostles and arrested them and threw them into jail. So Peter and the apostles were thrown into jail. And the jail door was being guarded by the guards. But during the night, an angel of the Lord came and opened the gates of the prison and took them out. And he said to them, Go stand and speak to the people in the temple the whole message of this new life. And so upon hearing this, they did exactly that. When it became daytime, Peter and the apostles entered the temple to start preaching about Jesus, just as the angel of the Lord had instructed them. Now, the high priests were meeting together and they told the officers, I want you to go to the jail and get the men that we put in jail last night. So then the officer went to the jail and when they unlocked the door, did they find Peter and the apostles in there? <gasps> no, they were gone. So the officer returned back to the high priest and told them, we found the jail door locked quite securely. And there was a guard standing in, in front of the door. But when we opened the door, we found no one inside. So the captain and the captain of the temple guard and the chief priest heard this and they were so confused because where had they gone? But a man started, man ran in and said, I saw those men standing in the temple teaching to the people. So then the captain of the guard and the high priest went to go get the men without violence. When they had brought them, Peter and the apostles stood in front of the council of the high priest and the high priest started to question them and said, we gave you strict orders not to teach about Jesus, but you fill Jerusalem with your teaching about Jesus and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said this, we must obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised of Jesus, whom you put to death by hanging him on a cross. He is the one whom God exalted to his right hand as a prince and a savior to grant repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are the witnesses of these things. And so is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they got so angry and they were about to kill them. But just at that time, there was a man named Gamaliel that came in and he was a Pharisee and he ordered the men to be sent outside for just a little bit so that he can talk to the council of the high priest. And this is what he said to them. He said, remember, there was a time there was a man named Thutis and he thought he was somebody. And so he got a group of 400 men who joined him. But then Thutis was killed and all who followed them were scattered and they became nothing. And then there was also a man named Judas of Galilee who rose up and drew some people after him, but he also died and the people that followed him also scattered. So I say to you, don't kill them and leave them alone because if their actions and the things that they're saying are from man, they will die. But if it is from God, you will not be able to kill them or overthrow them. And you may be found fighting against God. So then they took their advice. And they brought them back in and beat them up. So the high priest beat them up and flogged them and ordered them not to speak of the name of Jesus and let them go. 
And as Peter and the apostles were going away, they were happy. Even though they got flogged and beaten, they were rejoicing because they had been considered worthy to suffer shame for Jesus' name. And every day in the temple and from house to house, Peter and the disciples, they kept on teaching about Jesus as Christ. Okay, so let's review today's lesson. The Holy Spirit can cause miracles to those who believe in him. He doesn't need band-aids or medicine, right? God is also very powerful. Can he break through prison doors, jail doors? Yes. Can he also break through the jail guards? Yes, he's so powerful. So obeying God is super important. It's more important obeying God than obeying man. So we have to be like Peter and the apostles who had boldness to share about Jesus. And they got their boldness because the Holy Spirit helped them. So we need to have the boldness to share to our friends who don't know about Jesus and all that he has done, like dying on the cross for us. God gives us the Holy Spirit to those who obey him. So I hope and pray you guys obey God this week and obey your mommies and daddies. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.